hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well so today i'm back with a video showing you how you can get a perfect french manicure on natural nails and I have been doing a French manicure for years. I have tried different methods and there has been one method that I have been totally in love with. So I'm going to show you guys what I do exactly to get a perfect French manicure at home. As I said before, there are different methods. If you have pretty sturdy hands, you can just freehand it and just paint the tips of your nails. But I know this can be a little bit tricky and that is why you can also find like French manicure stickers that um, you can stick on your nails but I have never been a really big fan of that they just don't seem to work for me so I never really use those stickers so I either freehand my French manicure or I have been doing this new thing that I'm going to show you guys in a minute before I start any French manicure I always do my nail regimen so I just remove my cuticles I buff my nails and I also foul them in the shape that I really love but if you guys want to see a more in-depth video about my nail regimen i'm going to put the link to that video in the description box below so be sure to check it out and you guys might be like why are you showing this step to us in this video but i always do my nail regimen beforehand because your french manicure is just going to look a lot better and a lot cleaner um, so that is why this step is really crucial Once I'm done with this step, it is time to start the actual French manicure. I always start off with a base coat, no matter what, always apply a base coat. If you're doing a French manicure or just a regular manicure, I always do or apply a base coat. And this is just a clear base coat. You can also use a base coat that has a little bit of a tint to it i know you can find ones that have like a rosy or a beige tint to it and that can also look really pretty so just apply it all over and let it dry completely before you go to the next step so right now i'm grabbing this specific nail polish this is actually called a striper and it is used if you're doing nail art but i'm not going to be using this specific color on my nails but i'm going to be using the brush that it comes with and as you can see this brush it is really fine and really thin so it is perfect if you're going to be doing nail art and it is also perfect if you want to outline the tips of your nails if you already have a brush like a nail art brush that looks like this then you don't need to use a striper like i did but i'm just dipping the brush in the nail polish color that i want to use on my tips and i'm just outlining all my nails and this just makes doing a french manicure so simple because all that you have to do next is you just have to fill in your tips with your nail polish color and you can just use the regular brush that it comes with you don't need to use the striper brush because you're only using it to outline the tips of your nails and in total I'm applying two coats of this specific nail polish color but I first apply one coat let it dry completely and then I apply a second coat and I like to apply two coats because my French manicure is just going to last a lot longer and some nail polishes they can look a little bit streaky if you just apply one coat. This nail polish it just looks good when you apply one coat but I still want to apply two coats just to make sure that it lasts um, a pretty long time. And if you mess up a little bit that is okay. You can just let it dry completely because in the end I'm going to clean all the little mistakes that I made. The last nail polish that I'm going to be applying is a top coat. And this is just going to make sure that you seal all the different nail polish layers together. And if you don't have like a lot of time to sit there and wait for a nail polish to dry, I have been loving these nail polish or just nail drops if you apply it on your nail polish maybe just like two drops on each nail it is just going to make sure that your nail polish dries a lot 
quicker and I have been loving these so much and it is also really affordable. Once I have cleaned the sides of my nails with a q-tip and some nail polish remover, my French manicure is completely done. And I'm telling you guys, using a striper to outline the tips of your nails, it has saved me so much time and doing a French manicure, it has become a lot more fun for me. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and that it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my social media sites. I will put all my links in the description box below. So we can also stay in contact outside of YouTube. Yeah, I wish you guys a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!